In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix it when your PS5 controller is not connecting to your PC. So the first thing you want to do is go to the search bar and type in blue, and then we're going to be going to Bluetooth and other device settings. Now the first thing you want to do is ensure that Bluetooth is turned on, and once you've done that, what I recommend you do is if you've used your PS5 controller in the past on your PC, and it says not connected like this Xbox wireless controller says, what you want to do is remove the device. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the PS5 controller now, and then something else you could try, restart your computer, boot it back up, and then what we're going to be doing with the PS5 controller, because you've been trying to connect it and it's not connecting, is we're going to be resetting it. And also, something else I recommend, unplug your PS5 if it's close to your PC. It experiences issues when you're pressing the power button or the PlayStation button and the share button. Sometimes it boots up your PS5 and you don't even notice, and that's why you're not connecting. As well as, if you have a ton of Bluetooth devices, it kind of overloads your PC, so avoid having like 30 different things on your Bluetooth because that can cause problems. So what we're going to be doing is grabbing something very small that we can push into this little button on the back. That's the reset button. So you want to press into it for about three to five seconds, and that's going to fully reset the controller. So give this a couple seconds and we can release. So now it's like you have a brand new controller when it comes to connections. So what we're going to be doing now is pressing and holding the PlayStation button as well as the share button at the same time until it starts flashing at the front. So after a couple seconds, we should be getting blue lights flashing, which is great. And now what you want to do is go to add device and then go to Bluetooth devices. Now you'll notice immediately it just popped up. And if it doesn't, don't worry. Sometimes this can take one to two minutes to actually pop up. So have a little bit of patience. I know it can be frustrating, but seriously, it can take that long. So now I'm going to select DualSense wireless controller and it's gonna start connecting. And it looks like we might've got the connection. I'm just gonna wait a few moments. Something else I found, there we go, boom, just connected like that. If it doesn't connect immediately, like after five to 10 seconds, just click on it again. It is incredibly finicky when it comes to connecting these controllers. So just bear that in mind. Now, if that didn't work either, something else you could also do, if you have your USB cable that came with your PS5, plug it into your controller and then plug it into your PC. Wired connections, as frustrating as they might be, you know, maybe you're far back or something, ultimately it's going to provide a more stable connection and it makes it easier to connect as well. But hopefully this video was helpful. Like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.